Good morning and welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV at Frederick. My name is Callie Say and I'm here at TransWest in Trailer Sales. So for those of you that are looking for a new trailer, we are Cimarron and Logan dealers. So those are the brands that we carry, brand new, full warranties. And then if you're looking for any used trailers, we take a large variety of trailers and on trade, anything from little bumper poles to big living quarters. We're about 30 minutes north of Denver, right off I-25, and we have a huge selection of inventory here on our lot, as well as a lot of trailers that are on order. And then you can get really cool and go for, for a full custom built one if you want. Um, so lots and lots of options on these trailers. What I've got sitting behind me today is actually a used trailer. It's a 2022, so it, it hasn't been around too long, but this is a trailer that a customer actually purchased from us that he wanted to custom build one, but he needed a, an in-between trailer that was just a little bit bigger than his last Cimarron. So this was kind of his option and he loved this trailer. He said this is one of the best trailers he's ever owned as far as how it was built. You know, not, not a whole lot of issues on this thing. So, and he knows he's bought a lot of trailers, lots of RVs, lots of trucks, so he knows quality and he went and purchased another Cimarron trailer from us. So let's go ahead and take a tour through this one. I'll show you guys some of the features on it and we can walk through uh, some of the things that this trailer has that's very, very unique. So start up front here. As I mentioned earlier, it's a 2022 Cimarron North Star four horse living quarters. This one is 37 and a half feet on the floor. So you've got a nice big 17.9, short wall, full width rear tack, side load. This was actually a trailer that we had at Stock Show. So it was our display trailer there. And that's actually when it was purchased. So we, we always try and dress up our stock tra trailers. They get kind of the best of the best, try and show off any new features on them. And uh, this one was no exception. So the first thing you'll notice is this nice roll up door enclosure here. So. When you do a roll-up door enclosure, it seals this area off so that you're gonna keep this area a lot cleaner. You're not getting a lot of road debris thrown up in this area. You've got air ride suspension on this trailer. So it's running on triple 8K air ride axles. And air ride is, is a non-negotiable for this customer that owned this trailer. Every single trailer that they have is an air ride trailer. They know how important it is to how the trailer pulls, how the horses ride, and then the longevity of the trailer. So the nice thing about the air ride systems of today, Dexter does a Airflex axle that is actually a rubber torsion axle, and on top of that sits the airbags. So the actual frame of the trailer is riding on those airbags, which means that that rough road doesn't quite transfer up into the stall area of the horses. You're not going to have so much bend and flex, um, which means your welds are going to hold up a lot better. And then pulling it, if you've ever pulled an air ride trailer, they just pull so much smoother uh, because the potholes you hit on the trailer don't quite transfer all the way to the front there. So air ride is a great update or upgrade on this trailer. Uh, it's, it would be very hard for us to sell this trailer without air ride because it is such a nice, beautiful uh, conversion that air ride is just a really nice option to have on it. So inside here, you do have all your house and trailer batteries. Uh, when we have our air ride trailers, one of them goes specifically to that air ride system. And then you've got plenty of house batteries to run everything you need to. That's 12 volt off of this. This trailer also has an onboard Onan 7000 gas generator on it. So if you're not somewhere where you're hooked up to power, this is a great trailer to have because you can run your TVs, your microwaves, your air conditioner, your electric fireplace, all off of that generator. When you are somewhere where you can plug in, it's a 50 amp service uh, with those two ACs. We just want a little bit more power on it. And this trailer will be ready to roll. You can use the microwave, uh, do everything you need to do with the comforts of home. Got a nice big spare in here, dual electric over hydraulic jacks. And then this trailer is actually equipped with electric over hydraulic brakes, disc brakes. So your stopping power on this triple axle is gonna be 
really, really good. This trailer weighs over 18,000 pounds empty. So having the ability to stop it nice and smooth and strong is a really, really great option. And here you've got your two 30 pound propane bottles. So plenty of propane on here if you need to use your, your cooktop, your furnace, uh, your hot water heater. That's all, all gonna be powered by, by your propane tanks. If you're somewhere you're plugged into electric, you will have the option, like I said, to, or run your generator, you will have the option to use your electric version of the hot water heater, as well as you can use that, that little electric fireplace. So you do have options if you don't wanna go and use your propane tanks. Right underneath here, we do have a nice big 16 inch awning light. So if you are uh, trying to hook up at night or doing things under this trailer, at night it's going to be really easy for you to see what's going on these awning lights throw off so much light they're really really awesome um, to have we've been adding a lot of them under this gooseneck nose and uh, that customer does it on every single one of their trailers using trailers to big lq tucked back here you've got your exterior spigot here so that's gonna you go off of your 60 gallon fresh tank that is underneath your sofa and you're going to have the ability to fill up water buckets, wash your feet off, rinse the dogs off. Uh, just, just It's nice to have an exterior spigot that you can use on your trailer so you're not having to run water inside and outside. So as we work our way around here, um, you'll notice that this is, this is a nice big trailer. We've started to do a lot of our bigger LQs as 710 tall. We find that the extra headspace on it is really, really nice to have for those taller people. You know, you get a little more room in the shower, a little more room in the bed area. So 710 is a game changer on these ones, as well as we have an integrated pod on this trailer. When you have an integrated pod, it does bring down the roof line a little bit in the stall area. So having that uh, integrated pod with the 710 height is gonna help that stall area height so that those horses don't feel like they're cramped inside. You got a huge 21 foot electric awning on this trailer. So it's got some nice little awning lights that are underneath it. And it's gonna be a great place to hang out if you're at a show or a campsite. It'll have a nice place for you to, to sit in the shade. Now, this is not a wind sensing awning, so you wanna make sure that if you're going away from the trailer, you're always rolling it in, or if it's windy outside, you just roll it right in. And it's so easy, at the touch of a button, it goes in and out, so really simple to use. You've got some nice little courtesy lights down low here, and that just makes it so that if you're running out here and it's still dark out, you're gonna be able to see the ground, see where, where your footsteps are going. And then you do have a nice little, little outlet right here Everybody's got something they want to plug in outside and it's just a nice convenient location for it. We did the big Challenger style doors on this particular trailer. And what that allows you to do is have this nice uh, metal screen door on it. So, you know, we have those Dexter style camper doors that we can put on it, but this is such a nice trailer. We wanted this RV style door. It just, Cimarron is such a high quality built trailer. It makes sense to put a really high quality door on it as well. Nice little fold up step makes it so much easier to get in and out of this living quarters here. And then this is where a lot of people get kind of starstruck on this trailer. Like I said, this was our stock show trailer. So we really did our best to, to kind of go all out on it and one of the things people love about this trailer is this U-shaped dinette. This is actually an electric slide out so you don't have to worry about the weight um, and the price of a hydraulic slide out, but it gives you a, such a nice seating area so you can have lots of people in here. You can lay this table down and, and convert it into another place to sleep. And then having this U-shaped dinette and a slide allows us to put just opposite this nice big fold down sofa. Your 60 gallon fresh tank is right underneath there. And this also lays down, makes a bed. So you've got three different sleeping areas just in this living quarters. This is a 17, nine foot short wall. So it's plenty of room to stretch out. I think once we get to the bathroom, you guys will see why this is a customer favorite. 
Up here, you've got a nice big convection microwave, lots and lots of storage. The amount of storage on this trailer is really insane. I think the customers that had this before, they downsized just a little bit just to get it a little smaller. They went a little bigger on the horse area, a little smaller on the living quarters. And the amount of stuff that they can put in this trailer is really incredible. So lots and lots of storage. We've got a nice two burner cooktop here that does run off the propane. We've got a little internal solenoid on this trailer. So there's a little valve that you press and turn on the propane. It's just a really nice safety feature. Outlaw does it on every single one of their trailers that has propane. Beautiful black backsplash. This is actually a tile backsplash, so they didn't cheap out on materials here. All hardwood cabinetry. Beautiful, beautiful work that Outlaw does on their conversions. And then up here, you've got the nose area. Nice big queen size bed. A lot of people really like this center entrance on these tra trailers because it allows you to get in and out of uh, the nose without having to crawl over one another. Got lots of storage up there as well as another start for your generator. So you can go and just kick that on if you're laying in bed still, get everything running. You've got a nice 32 inch TV right here in the corner. And then this trailer is equipped with dish and the ability to use Wi-Fi. So they have a Connect 2.0 Wi-Fi system that you can get a little, uh, little disc for and have Wi-Fi wherever you go. These TVs are smart TVs. We've got the big 40 inch over above the fireplace there. So lots of, lots of places for entertainment on this trailer. Uh, it just gives you, gives you a lot of options for seating and kind of a center place to watch TV. You're not having to, to crane your neck different directions. That fireplace was a favorite of the customer that had it before. And I, I just have it on like the ambiance setting right now. There's no heat coming out of it, but it will kick off some great heat if you're wanting to use it as an additional heat source. Speaking of heat on this trailer, this was a customer that had it in a cold climate and they actually set it up so that the water system will constantly recirculate if you want it to. So tank heaters have been added to this trailer as well as that recirculating water system so that they can use this, this trailer in the middle of winter and that system will recirculate and keep any of the pipes from freezing. So really, really cool system. He did it on his next trailer. Very simple to do, but great results. He's been able to use this trailer in sub-zero weather and he's been okay. So Outlaw has some of the best insulation out there and that is a huge help if you're trying to be in colder weather. But the biggest issue that we find is that some people will have issues with their, their water freezing and having kind of that recirculating system has helped to uh, solve that problem. So big fridge over here. This is an 80. We did an oversized fridge over what we do standard. So you've got a lot more square footage there. And then once again, more cabinetry, soft touch walls. Um, these top rolls they did on their next trailer and I think it just really turned out super great for, for the colors on this one. Beautiful, beautiful trailer. So as we work our way over here, we've got this bathroom and I think this is that the thing that sells a lot of people on this trailer is this bathroom. You don't have a pass through door, but by deleting the pass through door, it gives you the ability to have this huge walk in double rod closet. And down low, you do have one of your furnaces. You've got two ducted AC units and two ducted furnaces on this trailer. So anytime we go over 16 feet, we're looking at adding more heating and cooling elements to a trailer. And since this one's 17.9, you know, we didn't, we didn't cut back on those options. We wanted to make sure that people were able to stay plenty cool and plenty warm on these trailers. This shower here is oversized with one of the skylights. So you have a nice little ledge, solid surface uh, shower here. Um, nice little ledge to store your shampoos and everything. It's not your standard tiny little uh, shower that you get on most trailers. 
and having this extra room without that pass-through door really helps enable that. Big sink, big window, or <laughs> not windows, mirrors on this trailer. You've got tons of bathroom storage in here. Just absolutely beautiful woodwork here. And then that backsplash from up in the kitchen actually carried on back to here. So lots and lots of storage space. We've got some storage space above the toilet and then every inch was used on this trailer so you do have some nice corner shelves in here as well. Max Air Fan makes it really easy to get ventilation moving through here. So if you do take a shower, you can suck a lot of that humidity and moisture out of the air um, or just keep some nice air circulating through here. I do have the generator running on this one just so I can have my, my cool little fireplace going. But this is kind of your control center here. You do have your monitors over there for your tank levels and your battery levels. This is where right when you walk in, you can turn on your lights, you can run your slide out, run your awning out, um, turn on your, your uh, satellite system. This is that internal solenoid that I was talking about earlier that tells you um, if you can open the valves or not. <laughs> really simple to use. And then this is your second uh, start for your generator. This one has 132 hours on it, so he's been running it, it's been maintained. When we get it in here, we also perform, perform a service on it, so any trailers that come in with generators automatically get a gen service. Some of the things that we addressed on this trailer, this trailer was so clean, so well taken care of, that the majority of what we did on it was just services. So service fridge, service ACs, service furnaces, and so, and so there's two of everything, it did kind of add up. but. This trailer is gonna be ready to roll for the next customer. They will be able to get in it and go down the road. They're not gonna have to worry about doing maintenance on all of these things right off the bat. So really extensive check-in process and PDI and alignment that we do on these trailers when they arrive. Every single trailer that is used when it comes in gets put on our alignment machine and a triple axle alignment is really, really important. It is very expensive to put new tires on your, your trailer if they are out of alignment. So this customer did put brand new tires on it for us right before he traded it in. Uh, he did the Roadmasters with the balance beads on them. So he actually loves these Roadmasters and he puts a lot of miles on trailers. So right when he got his new trailer in, he had us order in these Roadmasters and before he even put any miles on them, he had them swapped to those Roadmasters with balance beads. Good, good tires on this trailer. Uh, we went and put an alignment on it. So there's brand new tires basically with, with alignment. We do a dump on our axles, on the first axle on these trailers so that when you're turning these big triple axles tight, you're not putting as much stress on the sidewalls of these trailers. And having a triple axle for so many years, we, we kind of avoided them because we didn't like how they just ate up tires. They were hard on the axles. So having the ability to do a dump and it doesn't lift the tire off, off the ground, but it takes the weight off of it. It'll dump all that air from that first bag out and transfer that weight to those second ones. It allows it to turn more like a tandem which is gonna cause a lot less stress. So you're gonna have less stress on your, your, your tires, your axles, which means it's gonna hold up better in the long run. Because anybody knows that they've tried to whip around a tri triple axle at speed or just on a hot day, it does tear up those, those tires if you're not careful. So having the dump is just a really, really great option. It's something we do here exclusively at TransWest. On this particular trailer, we did drop down windows on the hip side and we've been adding a lot more drop down windows to our trailers uh, especially if this, these trailers are going to Texas, Florida, you know some of those hotter states they really like having the drop down windows as an option. The thing is on these Cimarron trailers they're insulated stall area and roof so you're going to be a lot cooler just from the get-go on a Cimarron trailer than you will on a lot of other brands but if somebody has horses eating in the, you know, in the mangers, it's really nice sometimes to be able to close those drop down windows on the head side. 
can open these huge drop down windows on the hip side, get a lot of air moving through there still, and they don't have all that hay swirling around at their faces. So really great options just on the hip side drops. You do have a center turn signal here. So this is an indicator light that will let people know that are beside you that you're either braking or trying to get over. This is a nice long trailer. We want people to be able to know that you're trying to make moves with your trailer, even if they are beyond uh, your rear lights or they can't see your truck lights. So we add, to add these on anything over 26 feet and then we've been adding them to a lot of trailers that are those, those nice loaded out bumper poles. A lot of customers will bolt, build those and include them in it. So just, it's nice to have a little bit more lights. I think you guys can see all the lights we did on the top rail here. It's a beautiful, beautiful trailer. Um, nobody's gonna miss this one coming down the road. And since this trailer is a side load, you do have a side ramp here. This side ramp has some nice rubberized texture so those horses can get in and out of there really, really easy. We did a 16 inch awning light right above that door. So to light this up really nicely at night, those horses can see where they're putting their feet. And in the stall area itself, we did worm flooring and that was something we did before it came to us right, right from the factory. Worm flooring is a really great option if you've got a side load because it just makes it so much easier to clean out. You're not having to pull mats in and out of the trailer and put them back in. But it also protects your aluminum floor. So if you can do it, the best time to put worm in is right from the factory before a horse has ever set foot on it because that means this floor has always been protected from any urine that might have gotten down to it. So it's completely sealed, it's not a draining floor, but you just go and power wash it out when you're not using it and it'll maintain, protect that aluminum floor and it'll protect your investment. One of the things we do on a lot of these side loads is we'll actually do a breakover divider on this last one here. Really simple to use. Those just AR latches will just hinge over and what it does is it allows you to give those horses so much more room to get in and out of this trailer. And then when you've got them loaded, you just move those pins back up. Really, really strong, super simple to use, but it just gives you so much more room to move around here. Airflow dividers and bars here. So even the head grills, those horses can see, see each other, uh, see what's going on so they're not nervous about their buddies leaving on this one. Uh, you've got nice mangers on this trailer with a lot of storage underneath. And then you've got this full stud divider on the first one so that if you've got hay that maybe you don't want to put in the hay pod or a horse that likes to kick, this is a great stall for them to ride in. Just makes it really, really flexible on what you do with this area. So we're gonna go out this way here. This is your escape door. And instead of a feed bag, we actually did a built-in manger on this one. And that manger is really nice to have because you don't have to do something different. You don't have to worry about hooking up a feed bag or anything like that. But you also get all of this extra storage underneath. So it just allows you the ability to have a little bit more space under here. Anytime we can put more storage on these trailers, you bet we're going to find it. You got a nice fold up step in this one, so it just makes it easy to get in and out. Uh, your mangers on the other side here, they're all continuous. So if you've got anything you need to stuff in here, you've got plenty of room to do so. Big drop down windows on the head side. Uh, the jail bars are all one solid piece, so you don't have to worry about you know, having little little pieces of wire that break or little bars that break. They're super simple to use. I absolutely love Cimarron's drop down windows. Your fuel fill for your generator is right here. It's a 19 gallon tank, so plenty of uh, fuel for, for those longer trips and weekends. Also, you do have 16 inch awning lights on, on up high on the top rail and kind of halfway down here for if you're tacking up on this side. So lots of tie rings per side. 
you can kind of pick and choose where you want to go. So as we work our way around here, this is another place that people gush about. It's this full width rear tack. And this one in particular has a nice swing out saddle racks, dual fold up steps, rubber mat on the floor. It's completely carpeted. We've got a brush box on the door. And these are all movable. So if you want to move them down a little bit lower, make it easier to get in and out, you can also swing them right in and step up into the tack area and load those taller saddles. I've got the generator running right now. And those 7K Onan generators are pretty dang quiet and you cannot even hear them when you're in the actual living quarters. So it has lots of bridle storage here. Uh, everything's carpeted behind that as well and two really big shelves. So the setup on the actual full width rear tack is, is really wonderful. You've got that fuel tank right there and that's nice tucked away out of, out, of, out of reach there. And then when you swing these in, you've got a nice easy angle ladder that allows you to get up into your, into your roof area where you have this little gate that will protect anything from falling off. If you wanna throw like a um, wheelbarrow cart up there. And then you've got that big covered hay pod that has tons of storage as well. So you can throw your hay, your grain, just odds and ends up there. I seem, it seems to be that if you're gonna haul hay with you, covered storage is the way to go. You don't have to worry about tarping things. You've got plenty of room for it. And those integrated pods are nice and deep, so you can throw a lot of hay in them. So as we work our way back around here, I'll get you guys to the front so you can see some of the, some of the specs on this one. As I mentioned earlier, this is a 2022 Cimarron North Star Four Horse Living Quarters. It's a used one, but it's been really well taken care of. Uh, you can check, out, uh, check it out on our website. It's 5U221088. If you absolutely have fallen in love with this trailer and you want to build one just like it, just reference that stock number. We'll be able to pull up the specs and drawings of it and, and get you one just like it. So. If you guys do have any questions on this one or any of the other ones we have on our lot, we have some big LQs on order, just give me a call. My name is Callie Say. My phone number is 970-309-6368. I would be more than happy uh, to help walk you through the process of getting your own Cimarron. So thanks so much. Everybody have a really great day.